The National Protection Agency is proposing a new rule to scale back carbon emissions from power plants. This rule is scheduled to roll out on June 2nd and is causing more controversy in energy politics. One America's Augusta Cassida has more from Washington. Reports of rising sea levels, melting glaciers, and worsening storms are all putting pressure on the Obama administration to do something about climate change. The EPA plans to launch the biggest anti-pollution regulation in a generation, cracking down on carbon emissions from power plants, the nation's largest source of greenhouse gases from human activity. Over 70% of our electricity in the United States currently comes from burning fossil fuels, mostly coal and natural gas. And this will be the most significant climate action taken by the Obama administration as the president's time to leave a lasting legacy on climate change begins to run out. While environmentalists are applauding the shift to cleaner energy alternatives, this move by the EPA will be an economic blow to coal country states like West Virginia and Kentucky, whose economies rely heavily on fossil fuels. As for this November's midterm elections, Republicans will likely use Obama's climate policies in their favor. Feeling the heat, some red state Democrats, including Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, are already joining criticism against what Republicans are calling Obama's war on on coal. The rollout of these changes will begin next month and will become final mid-2015. Augusta Cassida, One America News, Washington. And the nation's four major wireless phone companies, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and T-Mobile, are providing a text to 911 service. This is a step toward moving the emergency dispatch system out of voice-only technology that dates back to the 1960s. According to the FCC, local governments in 16 states are currently using